Hello, precious people of God. Trust you are doing well by the grace of God. We thank God for yet another day to spend time with Him, another day to commune with Him. I want us to take a short exercise, and that is, I want you to click on that like button to help spread this good news abroad. I want you to help us share this good news, and that YouTube will also recommend this channel, this video to others, and they will also be a blessing. Also, let's take a short reading from Job chapter 38, verses 12. Saints, has thou commanded the morning since thy days, and then caused the day spring to know its place? Now, this tells us of the great opportunities, of the great blessings we enjoy as children of God when we speak into our day. And so, it is what we are about to do. Open your heart, be alert, prepare your spirit as we receive inspiring messages from the man of God, Apostle Joshua Selman. Also, if you are new here, hit on that subscribe button for us and then on that notification bell. Keep sharing this message abroad, keep sharing on Facebook, keep sharing on YouTube to invite others to join us as we bless the world. You are a blessing. Thank you. We have a lot to do tonight. Thank you, Jesus. And so we're going to trust God for speed. Hallelujah. Those outside uh, overflow, one, two, three, can you shout hallelujah? Praise the Lord. I'll teach for a few minutes and then we will pray. Hallelujah. I want to share with us something tonight that I believe is very powerful. Oh, hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Romans chapter 15. I welcome everyone. This is our miracle service for the month of April. And the Lord will do us good. Romans chapter 15 and verse 4. I want to share a powerful principle. Seems to be a bit windy outside. We apologize for those outside. Romans 15 and verse 4. Are we there? It says, for whatsoever things were written aforetime. It says, were written for our learning. That we through the patience and the comfort of scripture, we might have hope. Whatever, no, just, just, just verse 4. Whatever has been written. In other words, every time you read the Bible, every story, every epistle, every letter, in it is a revelation that is applicable. The Bible says that they are written for our learning, meaning we can derive keys from these principles and we can trust God that by the application of the same, we will experience triumph and tonight we are going to explore one of them in the name of Jesus Christ. I prayed with all my heart for this meeting and I trusted the Lord and I still do that he truly will visit us. I think the worship team captured it in a most profound way all the issues that we may need the hand of God to come upon healing deliverance etc let's look at Joshua chapter 6 the book of Joshua chapter 6 there are a few lessons we can learn the Bible already records that everything that is written in the Bible is for our learning that through the comfort of scripture we might find hope joshua chapter 6 it's a very interesting story um the lord opened my eyes to a very deep mystery here and i want to share part of it with us verse 1 okay it's projected now jericho was straightly shut up why because the children because of the children of israel and it says none went out and none came in imagine ladies and gentlemen a situation where a city is shut nothing is allowed to go out through it nothing is allowed to come out it's a description of the lives of many people the bible says this city is shut in a way that nothing can go out and it means it cannot receive anything. It cannot give and it cannot receive. Are we together now? 
and then the bible says verse 2 and the lord said unto joshua see i have given into thy hand jericho and its king and the mighty men of velum this is god speaking verse 3 and ye shall compass the city all ye men of war and go round about the city once thus shall thou do six days verse 4 and seven priests shall bear before the ark seven trumpets of ram's horns and the seventh day he shall compass the city seven times and the priest shall blow the trumpets verse 6 and joshua the son of nun called the priests notice now and he said unto them take up the ark of the covenant and let seven priests bear trumpets of ram's horns before the ark of the lord now look up we're going to continue but the bible is describing something very interesting here do you know that the surprising thing about this scripture is that the purpose for fighting that land was not to occupy jericho the bible never said they fought and they said let's enter so what was it about jericho that they needed to destroy it to continue their journey i thought that they would fight god said i've given you the land how can you wait seven days fight defeat a city and then keep moving that meant jericho was not just a city jericho represented something that was a deep mystery the bible says nothing could go into it and nothing could come out meaning if you found yourself in that city there was no possibility of connection with any environment outside nothing could go out nothing could come in are we together a city so fortified the bible says five chariots could hang on the fence of that city and then joshua the son of Nun, notice the strategy in order to defeat this city he said i know you have men of war but now i need the priests not men of war gather the priests and then introduce the ark of the covenant and then surround keep going around that challenge with the ark notice this don't talk don't do anything just carry the ark and keep surrounding that city that is so fortified there is no human way of crumbling that city but he introduced the ark listen carefully and he said to carry that ark and for six days all i want you to do is to gather the priests the ones who mediate between god and man carry the ark a symbol of the strength and the presence of god because he was trying to show joshua that what you see is not all there is if you fight physically there is a force that makes jericho jericho and that even if you pass jericho in peace jericho will not leave you in peace are you getting what i'm saying now it was not the issue of occupying is that something needed to be broken in jericho for their journey to be successful a city you can't see the king you can't see the citizens but the city is fortified nothing can go out nothing can come in when the lord look let me tell you something about god the tools that he uses tells you what challenge he's fighting when he went to egypt he didn't say moses let me show you how to use the sphere and a gun and whatever he said no egypt is not just egypt because they have men of war there are spirits and so take this rod now he's telling he's telling joshua joshua this challenge you see don't mind the physical size of the challenge there are entities that are standing there to make sure that no form of breakthrough comes no deliverance comes a city that stands as an altar within a territory and he says gather the priests i thought you would confront the king he said leave the king alone carry my presence carry the ark start going around and compass that was the language just keep going around that city with my presence don't utter a word let my presence keep going around 
six days this is what you will do and the bible says that they continued that way verse 11 so the ark of the lord compassed the city going about it once and they came into the camp and lodged in the camp verse 15 and it came to pass on the seventh day listen carefully that he rose up early about the dawning of the day and compassed the city after the same manner seven days only that on that day they compassed the city seven times and it came to pass at the seventh time when the priest blew the trumpet joshua said unto the people shout notice from day one to day seven no one was allowed to talk the only thing that was speaking was the ark it was a communication of spirits first there will be a participation but the physical only comes on the seventh day you start dealing with things physical no 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 let the ark speak what you cannot speak when the victory has been established by the ark your shout only manifested what sort of war do you fight with ark not swords carry the ark go round that challenge go round jericho what kind of mason what kind of engineer would deconstruct the blocks they were not held by cement and mortar they were held by covenants and ordinances he said only the ark can deal with this listen let me tell you this jericho is a representation of the kinds of situations of many people the the fortification is such that your shouting and trying to do all you know to do may not provide that solution are we together but the system here the first thing is look for the priest if you cannot find a priest then there cannot be victory you can find men of war but this one requires priesthood it is only priesthood that has the capacity to nullify the mystery that built Jericho are we together the Bible says here we have been made unto our God kings and priests there is an office of the priesthood of a believer and only that office is able to address certain intricate fortifications of darkness they would have shouted they would have tried fighting and they would have died i believe if they tried to fight jericho the men of jericho would not use swords the mystery that built jericho will fight them and yet on this occasion the lord tells joshua your sword is useful but now not for now your voice is useful but not for now go around jericho those walls you see were not just physical walls those walls the physical walls you see were a representation of something he said go around it tonight the lord has brought his presence and let me tell you what has been happening in this service is like taking the presence of god and going around situations you may not understand you were not designed to understand what the act speaks is a spirit communication there is a place where you shout with your intelligence but this warfare leave it for the ark and the covenant are we together there are languages over our lives and puzzles and mysteries that only the presence of god has a solution over the bible says so the people shouted verse 20 when the priests blew the trumpet and it came to pass when the people heard the sound of the trumpet the bible says the people shouted with a great shout and the wall fell down flat meaning it was built in a way and manner that it was not just by hands alone the walls that five chariots could stay sank something about the going around with the ark was doing something to the controlling powers that held that situation in other words the building was never the issue you will be deceived to think because the building is large it is a function of the engineering and here god is revealing and said joshua don't waste your time just like a situation that has been for 15 years 30 years and you may think because it has stayed so long 
It's just that those who have been fighting it have been fighting it physically. Let me tell you, when the act goes round, it doesn't take long. You will see a situation that you thought was so long crumble. You will see joblessness all of a sudden crumble. The assignment tonight is to find a priest, take the ark, blow the trumpet, and let there be a shout. And you will watch Jericho. Notice, the Bible says when Jericho fell down flat, the Bible says the people entered and killed everything inside and they carried the treasures. So that city was fortified and God challenged them to destroy that but the city was holding a treasure that was needed for the next level of their lives. There was wealth and blessing and the city would not allow anybody enter in or go out. Are you hearing what I'm saying? And God said, don't act like you would not need what is in Jericho. Stay and destroy. Pay the price. Crumble the city. Pack the treasures and you will need it on your journey. Couldn't they have followed another route and passed the people? Since the people did not want to open and close, it's a sign of peace. I can just leave them. But you leave them, you will need the treasure that is in Jericho. Because you see, Satan never has anything that is own. It's his own. Everything he has, he stole it. Are we together? Carry the ark. It was a powerful revelation. And I began to think about how many people try to fight battles physically how many people waste their time to try to manage things no the key is to tap into the mystery of priesthood a system that can talk to spirits a system that can challenge controlling powers the bible says for the weapons it says we wrestle not against flesh and blood we wrestle not against the annoying neighbor we wrestle not against the landlord we wrestle not against the joblessness situation in nigeria that every jericho has a force behind it you fight jericho physically you waste your time when you allow the ark fight before you come there the city has given you way you never enter a city until the ark defeats the city when you enter a city and try to fight the city will tear you into pieces because every city has gates spiritual fortifications there is the jericho of wealth and prosperity nothing comes in nothing goes out yet your treasure is there your life remains at a standstill because a fortification has been built so you don't challenge it spiritually so you go and start a business physical nothing works you leave the business and get a job physical nothing works after that you go and meet your uncle physical nothing works will you allow the ark to talk to the controlling powers are you getting what i'm saying now you want a job you carry your certificate and tell an uncle somewhere uncle sir i i want you to give me a job and he says bring your cv and you keep rejoicing for years that your cv is with someone and you keep it because until spirits are confronted there is no breakthrough believe what i tell you those who understand this keep triumphing cheaply by invoking the mystery of priesthood now the symbol of defeat for any people is the absence of a priesthood and the absence of an ark even if you have a sword if there is no priesthood and there is no ark there is no victory listen carefully the most important components to win the warfare of life is not the swords it's not the spheres it's not the business ideas it is the presence of a living priesthood and the presence of an ark hmm not everybody can carry the ark everybody can benefit from the presence of the ark but not everybody can carry the ark this is a mystery everybody is allowed to partake of the implications of the presence of the ark but not everybody can carry the ark 
if there is no priesthood then there is no ark then there is no victory even though there is an army even though there is a sword please hear me carefully some may trust in horses some may trust in chariots some may trust in certificates some may trust in human connections some may trust in business acumen some may trust in all kinds of things but i show you how we win in life it is the token of the priesthood the ark the trumpet it is not just physical things when the gates and the doors are fallen then your sword becomes useful are you seeing that you only submit the cv when the controlling power that stands from your village and has vowed that nobody who is through this bloodline will excel is a waste of time it is vain to wake up in the morning listen carefully and to sleep late in the night only to eat the bread of sorrows those you see triumphing in life are men and women who have understood the mystery of the priesthood they always allow the priesthood and the ark to precede them they will fight but they know when to fight look at me i came tonight to deliver us from a life of hustling a life of doing physical things you would think i don't know what i'm saying many people will not listen you will get up please help those on that you will get up carry certificates around life is spiritual there is no jericho that does not have spirit until the ark goes before you and until the priest carries the ark there is no possibility of victory treasures in jericho but the door is closed your treasure you can go in you can come out are we together do you know there was a woman there who should be saved i'm not sure rahab you can see that rahab was part of god the army of god but listen the bible says that she was stuck there her too could not go out and come in for as long as she was in there she was called rahab the prostitute until she came out of that dungeon did she become one of the the, the genealogy the lineage of jesus for as long as some of our family members and there are situations that are left it's not only treasures that were carried there some persons were also rescued everything that was lost shall be returned unto me everything that was stolen shall be restored unto me everything that was lost shall be returned unto me everything that was stolen shall be restored unto me we prophesy everything that was lost shall be returned unto me everything that was stolen shall be restored listen let me tell you this the more i understand the systems of the kingdom the more i see honestly that there is no hope of deliverance for many people until they find out these mysteries those who win in life are not the smartest those who win in life are not the most educated some of them by mercy they stumbled into these mysteries and you watch gates open and you are there with your knowledge wondering how unfair life can be jericho 45 nobody entered from your village your father tried fighting physically they destroyed him your mother tried doing business they destroyed her your siblings went to school god masters god phd the door said i don't open i don't receive and i don't give the lord said joshua stop wasting your time it's not about nigeria it's not about recession find a priest quickly find a priest one who is an act bearer don't just try to do it on your own i know you can fight but this is priesthood listen carefully it is the foolishness that has destroyed many proud people in our generation the bible says by a prophet the lord brought israel out of egypt it's not human worship 
it is the mystery of priesthood the priest the ark the trumpet equal to the falling of jericho when jericho falls you can fight with whatever you have when jericho falls your pure water can make you a millionaire because jericho has fallen when jericho falls one destiny helper is enough you don't need party when jericho falls one job can bless you but until jericho falls anything done outside it is a waste of time i never fight physically physical battles are the last it is foolish to begin your journey to victory fighting physically look at jesus on his way to the cross he spent time in gethsemane because he knew it was not about wood and nails it was about spirits satan came to him in matthew chapter 3 matthew chapter 4 satan left him came back to him in peter he defeated him came back in judas he left him something was playing out and jesus knew that he needed to settle certain things when he went to that cross satan did not know that certain dimensions of priesthood the order the protocol of priesthood had been kept let me tell you fear any man that understands priesthood even if he's a herbalist are you getting what i'm saying the people in the world know this and they triumph from one level of victory there are business people in this nation that will never do anything until they make sure there is an ordinance of priesthood that goes ahead of them life is too fierce to be physical no sir are we together you try getting a baby physically it doesn't work you go to the hospital doctors do their best it doesn't work you try and try let me tell you when you try a thing once twice three times it doesn't work just stop stop wasting your time stop immediately the bible did not tell us that one person was killed when jericho fell the people the same spirit that fell the land rendered the people helpless even the weakest of the members of the army killed somebody it was never about the sword it was about victory when the ark wins you win the only possibility for your failure is that the priesthood is not there show me the priesthood that has risen to speak over the ordinances our forefathers as uneducated as they were they understood the mystery of priesthood till today many of them we laugh at them yet they keep getting results everything that was lost shall be returned unto me everything that was stolen shall be restored unto me everything that was lost shall be returned unto me everything that was stolen shall be restored Listen, unto me the bible says everything written in scripture was for our learning that story was not just written there god intended that someone with the eyes of the spirit can see and teach a people that you don't win battles with swords swords only help you possess your possession swords only help you manifest victory they don't create victory what creates victory brothers and sisters is the priesthood and the ark what manifests victory is your sword it is true that the horse is prepared for battle but the horse does not fight until the priesthood goes the nation of israel will be going for war and they will carry swords and then they will carry priests with a trumpet look how silly it is to be going to fight they can wipe a whole nation yet there are some people with some irritating regalia and the painful part is they are never behind they are in front the priesthood they are afraid but they know what they carry they depend on the ark left for me you will kill me and the enemies are laughing and say you have come to fight us like this priesthood our generation is a very arrogant generation that's why we may never get results 
many young people just i'm not saying anything is wrong with intellectualism we have so we have demeaned ourselves from the reality of the realm of the spirit do you know you look at certain people and you are even annoyed because in all honesty you see the efforts i'm correcting you now you have been doing it wrongly you have been fighting a neighbor even if the neighbor leaves provided jericho is there it doesn't matter who comes back the battle is the same listen if jericho is still there leave zaria and travel to lagos leave zaria and go to us right from the 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 airport there trouble will meet you but crumble jericho and remain in your village and watch the booty of jericho look for you and come it is not by strength it is by strategy i show you a strategy tonight to command strange signs and wonders is the mystery of the priesthood do you know do you know why saul lost his throne are we bible students do you know why saul lost his throne who can tell me why he lost his throne saul did not lose his throne necessarily just because he offended god saul lost his throne because he, of, he offended a pattern an order of operation he waited there was a man occupying the priest prophet office who was supposed to be the one to offer incense and they waited for him and the king said look you are wasting our time the people are destroying me say ah, is he not the same god we all serve the same god and he offered the sacrifice and when samuel came he said no you have done foolishly if you allowed me to come god would have established your throne forever but now that you have done this the throne is taken away from you just for the sin of violating priesthood a man lost his throne without knife no knife nobody fought him but he lost his throne. David tried to do his best to still respect him. He was sitting in a physical throne, yet he had gotten up in the realm of the spirit. Show me the job in the realm of the spirit. Otherwise, stop wasting your time with CVs around. It will not work. Are you getting what I'm saying? You just get up physically and go and harass your unbelieving loved ones. I've come to you repent you must repent you are fighting physically and all of a sudden you receive casualties but when you invoke priesthood someone goes to bed in the night and sees a stranger coming and says it's time for your salvation and the person is already convicted here you come and you say look I want to talk to you about he helps you and say Jesus I've been waiting because Jericho has fallen are we together you meet your destiny helper jericho covers his eyes he is the one but he cannot see you and you pass but when jericho falls like the prodigal son as prodigal as that son was while the father saw him the father didn't even say so what have you been doing i hear you have been with pigs he held him he said leave the matter of the past now let me put a ring come be restored for by the arm of flesh koinonia will no man prevail you will never get a job just by physical pressing believe me you will never prosper just by doing all of these things there are many men of god some of you are here wonderful men of god they are trying to win the battle and rise in ministry physically please invite me here's my complimentary card i'm a sound man of god by god's grace i'm balanced i'm this and that and that you are and Jericho is looking at you and say it doesn't happen that way Jesus knew this imagine Jesus going around and saying people come and listen to me for 30 years no one was interested in listening to him but when he engaged the mystery of the priesthood he came out of the waters a voice spoke hear ye him publicity or no publicity everywhere Jesus went men followed him Are we are we together the bible says they know not neither will they understand they walk on in darkness let me tell you many of you your victory is already established in the realm of the spirit but 
the system for translating it we are there wasting time doing a lot of things many of our loved ones some of you are here you thought that okay by the time you get a job it will be all right you got a job you found out that the salary was not enough you prayed for promotion as promotion came to you all of a sudden jericho says that's not how we win i'm still here standing but tonight in the name of jesus in the name of jesus christ let me tell you you will watch jericho just like babylon fall before you so, listen when you hear people testifying ah huh, try to understand what made the miracle work because most of what they were doing they had done it before master we have toiled all night jesus said no it's not nets that catches fish Abba, you've been with me you don't understand how this thing works master we have toiled all night he said but i know there is a relationship between you and that fish and jesus said cast your net the net will be casted but not before he speaks it is after he speaks the cv will be submitted but not before the priesthood it is after are we together you will try to have the child but when you continue the way you are doing you will keep miscarrying forever it's not an insult let me tell you this without the presence of god there is no human intelligence that has the fortification to destroy an altar whose foundation is spiritual let me repeat myself without the presence of god spiritual intelligence there is no human manipulation that sustains enough power to crumble an altar whose origin is from the realm of the spirit what is fighting many of us is not physical brothers and sisters i know you are born again i know you love jesus christ but the mystery of covenants are territorial Jesus has come to your heart, but he must come to your life. Just because you received him into your heart doesn't automatically mean you are free. Potentially, you have come into a kingdom with infinite possibilities. But Ephesians chapter 4 and verse 18 says, having their understanding darkened. This is Paul teaching the church in Ephesus. He says, alienated from the life of God through the ignorance that is in them having the the tragedy is not that god lied but that their understanding is darkened and so by reason of the darkened understanding they have been alienated from the experience of that life it's not enough to say jesus died it's not enough to say i'm born again if that were it brothers and sisters many of our loved ones who have been born again for decades should not be where they were i watch people under the influence of manipulations that are not of an earthly, an earthly origin and i watch the folly of men how we do our best i was once like that but no more i'm born again i've repented i've seen the foolishness of fighting things physically it has to be from the realm of the spirit first not from the realm of the spirit whether first or not the order is first from the realm of the spirit when you plant a seed it doesn't start growing outside until the growth happens there that is the part you cannot explain when it starts coming out you can now water it but the growth there doesn't need your watering listen there are powers that until the mystery of the priesthood and the ark fights some of us will never experience progress in our lives we wake up in the morning we sleep late in the night we are sincere but nothing is working are we together yes every time a blessing comes trouble must ferment itself around a family and drain everything the moment you are rising spiritually how many pastors and churches and wonderful people are like that when you are rising satan doesn't fight you you will think you are victorious the programming 
he knows how cheap the programming will bring you down so he can as well allow you to rise and you find out for a season everything is working well because it's like a string you will reach a limit it pulls you back are we together oh i want to marry you no problem you will even be happy three days later everything scatters i'm going to give you a job and you find out that satan does not need to fight you he already fought you with the presence of jericho and god said guys the goal is not to stay in jericho but you can't let jericho stand and reach where you are going don't pity it bring it down there is a don't just look at the fence there are captives in that place there are treasures in that place and he said let me show you it is not by physical fighting you don't have any physical weapon that can bring down that fence brothers and sisters jericho sank flat the bible records it flat this is what is going to happen to many of us tonight that's why that's why i i told you tonight's miracle service is not just for individuals it's for families enough of this fruitless trying doing everything by strength there is a system in the kingdom are we together the priesthood there are some of us here we're ministry some of us probably travel for a long time we're men of god we love god but it looks like there is a peg brothers and sisters let jericho crumble and you will see how cheap life can be there are people who have experienced the defeat of jericho but they cannot articulate the system that brought the defeat someone stood on their behalf through the ministry of intercession and caused jericho to fall for them they just found out that they entered cheaply and even a dagger brought victory so they can trivialize the existence of jericho jericho is real if you don't see it in your life a priesthood already brought it down for you are you hearing what i'm saying but everyone who must pass remember israel is god's own people what is the business between israel and Jer they had conquered other nations what do they need the treasures of jericho when you read your bible with an open heart you will see that there are gaps you have to be spiritual to get an explanation i fight i defeat jericho and i continue my journey but i carry rehab I carry treasures there is rehab there without rehab there is no jesus without rehab the whole fight was to carry treasures and to carry rehab mm. we look to yahweh yahweh our hope is Yahweh, Yahweh. We look to Yahweh, Yahweh. Forever, Yahweh, Yahweh. Yahweh. We look to Yahweh. soon going to pray the lord rejects saul as a king and now looks at david but there was no priest to confirm what god wanted the priest that was available still wanted saul and david could not be king god almighty had left saul and wanted david samuel said no i still want saul and God remained helpless. Think about it. God kept begging Samuel, cooperate with me because David will never be king. That God intended it does not guarantee his manifestation. Between God's heart and your result is a priest carrying the ark. 
that's why you can have a dream you see yourself collecting a, a job letter you saw it in 2014 no priest 2015 no priest that your dreams show you eden your life shows you adulam there's a system of translation are we together and all of a sudden the lord now spoke to samuel he didn't quarrel samuel he said samuel how long will you keep weeping seeing that i have rejected saul as king rise up carry your horn go to the house of jesse go and anoint the next king of israel paraphrasing and david remained there i'm sure david will be in the wilderness and say when will my change come the change was in a negotiation between god god already intended in god's mind this is the next king and the king will sit with sheep and say oh lord when will my breakthrough come and god will say the day a priest comes all of a sudden the priest agrees and god's will continues moving a priest refuses and god remains moses was wise he said lord I already know you too well don't ever let us go here if your presence if that I could not go before us I'm not going no Moses said because my going is as good as wasting my time I, I, I know what is before us and he said my presence will go with you and I will give you rest rest is a gift are you hearing what I'm saying rest is a gift my presence will go with you and i through my presence will give you rest my presence will clear up the spirits and whatever you do when you read second chronicles 20 the same thing happened three kings came together to defeat the people of god and all of a sudden the bible says the priests and the musicians were now in front and they began to sing you are good and your message endure forever the ark started fighting them who is the fool that goes for war with gold in his pocket and silver and the bible says all of a sudden they turn can you imagine allies together when the ark starts fighting for you is fearful are we together fearful you are standing close to danger it never touches you before it touches you something touches it the priesthood the people started killing themselves and the bible says everyone helped to kill another that's not a man fighting that's the ark fighting and all of a sudden when the last two were left he killed one and the ark said what are you waiting for and he carried the knife killed himself and when the people came they found gold they found treasures when the ark fights it fights thoroughly when you fight if your hand paints you like moses and start going down you see that they can defeat you but you carry the ark and let it begin to fight they kept the ark and they kept dagon these people brought an entity a god enshrined with spirits called dagon the bible did not show us there were any physical contact by morning dagon fell face forward on the ground the superiority of the presence of god above any enchantment and any ordinance when you see the ordinances that have been enshrined by your cultism and all of these things prevail is because the ark has not been lifted tonight we have come in this place to initiate a system of priesthood over the difficult situations of people to say lord if i want you for a few minutes just suspend the issue of job or whatever whether it is job or the issue of delay it is still the same jericho causing it any part of jericho is still jericho are you hearing what i'm saying the jericho that causes failure is the same Jericho that causes barrenness. It is still Jericho. The Bible didn't say Jericho. Do you know, look at the interesting thing. Jericho fell flat, but the woman who stayed in the fence, how God delivered her, 
that she didn't fall flat with it is a mystery we don't understand but the bible tells us everything fell down flat to break every chain 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 is to break every chain break every chain break every Listen, brothers and sisters, we're about to pray, but I plead with you in the name of the Lord to believe this mystery, as simple as it looks, and you will watch the wonder in your life. Stop focusing on physical things. You will cheat yourself a thousand times. Nothing on earth has the ability to stand on its own. If anything on earth stands, there is a force keeping it. There is power in the name of Jesus. There is power in the name of Jesus. There is power in the name of Jesus. To break every chain. Break every chain. To break every chain, break every chain, break every chain, break every chain. Listen, the type of sword that kills the enemies is not as important when Jericho is down. Anything can bless you when the realm of the spirit is down. Listen. I have seen anointed men and women of God. People I know love God with all their heart. But they can never prevail in ministry. Because they have been fighting physically. They do everything. And sometimes you wonder and say, ah, look how great this brother is. Look how great this sister is. Is there no ear on earth to hear what you carry and honor you for it? Hallelujah. Listen. People make all kinds of gifts for me, as you can imagine. People make all kinds of gifts. And sometimes I see what people do, and I'm shocked. I say, life is so unfair. How can this brother, this sister be this gifted, and yet be begging? And you see someone come out from somewhere, and priesthood goes before him. And in one week, his life has changed. They can even be sarcastic. Priesthood will make them take life for granted. There is a system of ease that God wants to bring to your life. Please hear me. There are families here listening. You have done all you know. Why don't you allow God? Allow the ark come into your home tonight. And let it go around Jericho. Allow the ark come into your life tonight. Let it go around Jericho. And you will watch that which was dead come alive by itself. hallelujah i was told recently about a young man very nice wonderful young man who loves god everything you know in life including good things fight him and recently i think something happened they stole a phone and the person who stole the phone was within the vicinity of the guy and he was sitting down the man kept the phone there and police came and took two of them together I got a text the person sent me a text and when he narrated everything that was happening I usually don't call people back but I was touched I called him I said where are you he said apostle look at my life nothing works I said how did you get to the police station he said that um, they found somebody with phone and carried him you think that's ordinary maybe that young man breakthrough is coming for him another thief from somewhere steals comes to drop a phone close to you does the police not have common sense to probe and they carry you together because there is a spirit coordinating this it looks like coincidence someone just falls from a chair 
just a little chair like this and all of a sudden one side of him paralyzes it's a lie it's not that chair that paralyzed him be smart people fell from trees plucking mangoes and they were fine they cleaned their hands and carried the mango and went away you fall from a small chair and paralyzes your leg no a, a coincidence navigated the chair was just the scapegoat it's not about the chair tonight we are going to pray before i begin to minister you are going to say satan so you have deceived me through this situation i've been focusing on the situation whereas it is never really about the situation it is about jericho attempting to stand and challenge me i thought it was all about job i thought it was all about marriage i thought it was all about children i thought it was all about my background now i'm learning that anything would have still caused the same problem provided jericho is standing there but joshua gather the priests gather the priests listen look at me i want you in the mind of your spirit look at that job issue look at that issue and say i will no longer be deceived you are not the problem the problem is jericho it is never that the business cannot work it is never that helpers cannot come once jericho is still standing here nothing can go in nothing can come out lift your voice and begin Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Say after me in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Shout it one more time in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Tonight. Tonight. I challenge. I challenge the spirits. The spirit. The ordinances. The ordinances. The spiritual forces. The spiritual forces that are responsible. That are responsible for the physical tragedies in my life. Physical tragedies by the mystery of the blood. By the mystery of the blood. I declare. I declare that victory must be established in life. Lift your voice and pray. Hallelujah. Listen, the Bible tells us, listen, that we have a high priest and that that high priest is a man. The man, Jesus, he qualifies to be a priest, not the spirit, Jesus. The man occupying a priesthood that is higher than the Aaronic priesthood. The Bible says his priesthood 
is of a better covenant after the order of Melchizedek a priesthood with no beginning a priesthood with no end that there is that eternal priesthood of Jesus listen carefully we are talking about very deep foundational issues here Jesus the man the priest that took his blood the Bible tells us that he went to the heavenly tabernacle and poured his blood upon that altar once and for all once and for all the advocacy of that priesthood is superior listen every enchantment and every divination on earth needs the sun to walk or the moon the bible says thou listen without the sun and the moon if god withdraws the sun and the moon every cause every altar dies immediately because every other priesthood on earth or cultic depends on the power of the sun or the moon are we together and so the bible says the sun will no more give you sunlight you will not need it the moon the sun and moon they are important but i'm introducing something jehovah god himself will be the light that sponsors your altar the same way listen listen that men can say we will do the sacrifice by 12 p.m when there is a full moon and they stand and manipulate the the they use geometry and everything to tap the powers of the sun and the moon and god says these things are inferior i come with another priesthood my own self the son of righteousness i am the light are we together i want you to be tired of what is happening in your life and family i tell you the truth when we begin to pray and i begin to minister many of you will see cheap victories cheap victories. amen this is when you will know that this thing is not just about physical efforts do you know brothers and sisters listen let me teach you something for as long as you keep focusing on individual physical problems your frustration continues i can tell you all of them are sponsored by a central force hear me all of them the same electricity is causing this fan to run the same electricity is causing the mic to work if you want a shutdown of the source of the power you can destroy the mic the phone will still work that's what we have come to do tonight a total shutdown then you will find out it was never a financial issue you will find out it was never a health issue it was never a promotion issue it was an altar issue it was an ordinance issue pray one prayer before i start ministering lord visit the foundation of every challenge in my life and my family lift your voice and pray everyone that asked get receive it lord visit the foundation why is ministry not working why is my spiritual life dying why am i not growing in the anointing what is the mystery oh god lord why the circle of tragedies one tragedy after another one tragedy hallelujah 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 please just just be silent for a moment i want to start ministering now let's just the lord is giving me instructions just just be silent stand where you are um something is happening 
inside outside everywhere the lord is showing me something very strange now um let me just describe what i'm seeing i'm seeing something that looks like um this thing people wear what's the name this thing that looks like a um, ladies thing that men wear that that looks like a yes that that thing that's what i'm seeing on many people and the lord is telling me on everyone that i see that thing in there is a very strange deliverance because that i'm hearing hidden glory and i want to pray please you don't don't shout don't do anything just let me flow you start bringing those people out i'm going to pray now for those group of people i'm seeing it because i'm seeing that those people no matter what you do your glory is never seen you will struggle and try but nothing ever happens now in the name of jesus i stretch my hands just silence everywhere father i'm seeing this in the realm of the spirit and tonight is a miracle service from overflow one two three and the main auditorium and those online anyone here that is a victim of this that i see by the power of priesthood i come as an ark bearer an envoy tonight and lord i decree and declare let there be deliverance now right now right now right now bring them out i prophesy i decree and declare many of you will feel that physical fire upon your head i'm praying now physical fire coming upon your head let them go let them go i command liberty they must go i come with the rod of a higher priesthood i decree and declare they must go free Restore their glory now. Jacos Kapatariata and the Ketakas Kotariataji Brakatoka Tabalia. Hidden glory. That's what I hear in the spirit. Hidden glory. Hidden glory. There is glory, but covered in Jericho, covered by the fence of Jericho. Pakapata Katos Sabrakatalia. Everywhere, inside, outside. I'm praying now. Please just be sensitive. Let's let's do what God is directing us to do. Tonight there must be total victory. Total victory. Now I'm praying for families. The anointing of God will come on individuals, but it is for families. It will come on you. Once that anointing comes on you now, know that God is visiting your family. Lord, I pray now. I release the sword the sword of the lord in the name of jesus to every family if there is a family here whose glory has been buried nobody rises where are they i decree and declare now by the anointing of the holy ghost Shakata parakata. i don't know what altar manipulated the glory of any family here but in the name of jesus the son of the living God in the name of Jesus I command now by the power of the Holy Ghost let there be emancipation emancipation for every family hidden glory hidden glory the Bible says the word became flesh and dwelt among us and then we beheld his glory The Lord is still touching people. The Lord is still touching people. That's why you came. You have done the listening. Let me pray now. Hallelujah. Lift your hands. Something serious is going to happen here now. Now, I want to pray a very serious prayer. The Lord is leading me to pray this prayer. I just had in my spirit altars of poverty. Hold on. Just keep your hands lifted. Father, I'm praying. You spoke to my ears. Altars of poverty. If there is any family here in an ordinance, under that cause, nothing works. There is nothing you do physically to be able to bless the family and support the family that works. In the name of Jesus, I declare right now 
by the fire of the Holy Ghost let there be deliverance now by the fire of the Holy Ghost by the fire of the Holy Ghost altars of poverty everywhere overflow one overflow two overflow three online if there be anyone under the sound of my voice whose family is under this siege I decree and declare now your emancipation comes tonight for all of you in front here I speak to the spirits you know my voice in the name of Jesus and at the count of three you let them go now one two three go go out of them now out of every one of their destinies out of their lives Shekatos Kabariata I invoke a priesthood higher than any ordinance upon their lives release their families now release their destinies now You know the lord is opening my eyes and i'm seeing a vision now you know how it used to be in a slave market that you sell a physical person and collect money that's what i'm seeing in the spirit like people with only trousers sold and money this is exchange of destinies i believe that this is very prophetic let me be honest i know some of you may not believe it but the destiny you are living is not your own a king slaughtered his son so that he will remain alive there are men that exchange destinies they they a king carried his future and said child the death i'm supposed to die you die it there are people like that the destiny god allocated for you you know this is not your life your dreams and your vision show something else in the name of jesus pray now lift your hands i declare the spirits that exchange and merchandise the destinies of men by the power of the Holy Ghost at the count of three if there be anyone under the sound of my voice whose destiny has been manipulated I command now at the count of three be set free one two three be free now be free now be free now everything that was lost shall be returned unto me everything that was stolen shall be restored unto me everything that was lost shall be returned unto me everything that was stolen shall be restored unto me hallelujah oh sephia 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 like sephia i'm hearing a name sephia who is that please let's let's hurry up there is a lot to do i want us to settle down really pray for the sick sephia who is that her eyes her eyes say her eyes your name is Sophia. how about you madam the lord will locate the person i'm standing here and i'm seeing an angel of the lord touching the person god wants me to speak to her eyes I'll pray for all of you but in the name of Jesus Christ I deliver this lady now this lady on red I command that spirit that has tied down your life and your glory be gone for you it's over now in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus 
I release you now by the power of the Holy Ghost, by the anointing of the Holy Spirit. Be set free right now. Set free the Lord bring liberty. Liberty now. I command those altars to leave you in the name of Jesus Christ. The anointing of the Holy Ghost. Bad luck, bad luck. I take it out of your life. The spirit of I'm seeing a lot of bad luck. I take it out of your life now. Release their destinies now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. There is a lady, a physical person appeared to you in the room. This is a woman whose face you know like a relative. Physically, where is that person please? Someone, you were not dreaming, appeared to you. And there was a conversation from that day. Your life never became the same. Please don't be ashamed. I want to pray for you. Please don't waste our time. We have a lot to do. The Lord is ministering to me. Someone appeared. I'm not saying you were in a dream. This thing is somewhere you had a conversation with someone physical. Who is that person? I want to pray for you. Please, when you find that person, let the person come quickly. Who is Ola? I'm hearing a name, Ola. Ola. I don't know if that's the full name, but there's Ola. O-L-A. There's someone with that name, Ola. Please don't come out if it's not your name. Who is this? Huh? Your name is Ola. I want to pray for you. Look at me. Rejoice. Breakthrough has come to your family. This lady. I'm, I'm Kai. Look at the evil and the witchcraft I see over this lady's family. All these people are, please help me find out. Why are they here? All of them, their names are Ola. Interesting. Come. That lady with cap. Come. Your salvation has come. Come. This lady with, lift your hands. Over now. Over now. Over now. Calm down. Madam, come. I'm seeing what happened. Yes. A woman appeared to me that it shall be never would be physical. Physically. Are you seeing what I'm saying? Look at this. When was that? Last year, May. She appeared. Face to face and tell me, it shall never will be well with you. No matter how, whatever you take, that you are not feeling fine, the medicine will not work. And from that, hold on. From that day, something started moving in your body. Yes, yes, it will move and come to your back and come to your chest area. Look at this. Are, are you seeing a swelling here? You are seeing this? A woman appears to her. I prophesy to someone here. Jakas koto parakatia. Empre keto subataria talikata. Anyone in fraternity with the realm of darkness over your life i curse those people now i curse those people now i curse those people now by the anointing of the holy ghost madam i deliver you now in the name of jesus christ be set free now in the name of jesus the living and the dead don't have anything in common in the name of jesus the lord is speaking to me there are some of you all you see is dead people all you see is no matter a bulk of your sleep is encounter with dead people i'm prophesying lift your hands the anointing of the spirit is coming on such people now in the name of jesus if there is anyone here in strange encounters with the dead by the fire of the holy ghost i command a separation now the spirit of Hades, I speak to you. The spirit of Hades, Christ has triumphed over you. Oh, death, take away your sting. Take away your sting. Hallelujah. There are a number of you here. I presume you are all Ola, including this gentleman on wheelchair. That's your son. That's your brother. What happened to him? What happened to him? Accident since when 2015 and he paralyzed you you can't move now oh dear we're going to pray for the sick but i want to pray for Ola now just just stand bring for me the person i'm seeing like a sword coming on one of you now aside from this lady there is there is an anointing coming on one of you let me speak to that one person right now 
Ena mala na na niana, eana pani ana na mashida na. Shapra kata kato ba seketelia. I'm seeing a closed door. This is someone's destiny. It looks like I'm holding the air, but I'm seeing that I'm holding a padlock in the spirit. Whose destiny is that? Among these people standing, open, 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 open now. I command that destiny open. Take it, take it, take it, take it. Open now. Open now. Open now. Open now. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. You came alone. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Don't worry, I'll pray for the sick, sir. If I'm if I don't talk, are you a last sir? No, don't don't come out until I ask you. This is witchcraft. You would have died since last year, June yes sir it's god that kept you i will pray for you i've seen your case already if i don't pray for you in three months you will not be walking again this is stroke what is wrong with you yes all my body say this is what i'm saying i'm seeing three months and you're on the bed not to rise again we have to pray this is witchcraft in the name of jesus christ i want to pray for you come my dear this lady i'm seeing a very beautiful lady in the physical in the realm of the spirit i'm seeing an old woman hold my hands what fellowship the exchangers of destiny i hold the hands of this lady and i declare right now in the name of jesus let there be a restoration a very beautiful girl in the physical but i'm seeing the face of an old woman be free now in the name of jesus i command the power of the holy ghost upon your life i command that your destiny be restored your destiny be restored in the name of jesus christ for all of you standing here my my brother this gentleman come what's your name what do you do what do you do i'm a printer sir. you are a what printer printer nothing is working in your life i need to pray for you in the name of jesus christ i pray by the anointing of the holy spirit i break this embargo i see upon your hand in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ this row i'm seeing deliverance chicken feather that's what i'm seeing chicken feather this is an ordinance over a family just this row i stretch my hands now in the name of jesus i stretch my hands Kabaroko to sobaria talikata jakaske barikato sianapata let there be emancipation right now in the name of jesus christ let there be emancipation right now in the name of jesus christ all right mama i know that it's not time to pray but i want to pray for you please come madam you came alone let her come you came alone i, I did my first day and my heart has been here so one of my son friend brought me here when you are talking, everything you say is just about as if you are Where, where did you come together. from? I come from uh, Samaru. From but, Samaru? Um, Basawa. No problem, Mama. Yes, I, I want to pray for you because of something I've Thank seen. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Say after me. Say in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. The suffering. The suffering. The sorrow. The sorrow. In my life. In my life. Must end. Must end. Say in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I will eat. I will eat. The fruit of my labor. The fruit of my labor. Father, by her confession, Amen. let her be free now. In the name of Jesus Christ, I decree and declare that captivity is over. I pray for all of you now. In the name of Jesus. My dear, don't be embarrassed. Eh? Be careful with men. Come. I'm seeing somebody really destroying your life. Don't be embarrassed. Eh? You are here. We love you. We don't condemn people, but be careful. In the name of Jesus. I set you free the deception and the wickedness of evil doers I pray for you now every captivity in our last family whether male or female as I stretch my hands over you I command that it leaves you now it leaves your family now I say it again it leaves you now it leaves your family now in the name of Jesus for the last time now an anointing will come on you it leaves you now it leaves your family now in the name of Jesus Christ God bless you please go back to your seat go back to your seat go back to your seat hallelujah now lift your hands everybody 
Gentlemen, when it's time to pray for the sick, we'll pray for you. Huh? Just be patient. Please help him so that he doesn't strain himself. All of you lift your hands. One scripture and there is fire to deliver the oppressed now. Why are you here, my dear? You are with him? Oh, is your daddy. What? Okay. Since then, there is something that has been working on his body. Like you had an snake. accident? Yes, sir. Okay, and what happened? And since then, something has been working on his body, on his stomach, like snake. At times, the thing will... Are you seeing what I'm saying? So it was never about accident, you see. Accident was just the condition that made this happen. I saw three months stroke hitting this man and him not standing up from the bed again. But the Lord would destroy it. Eh? Just be patient. We want to pray now. Let me show you one scripture and then we'll pray. Exodus chapter 15. Quickly please. 6 to 11. Exodus 15. We're going to do a quick walk. We need to cast out wicked devils out of lives and families. Thy right hand, O Lord, is become glorious in power. Thy right hand, O Lord, has dashed into pieces the enemy. Next verse, to 11. And in the greatness of thy excellency, thou hast overthrown them that rose up against thee. Thou sentest forth thy wrath, which consumed them as stubble. And with the blast of thy nostrils, the waters were gathered together. The flood stood up right as an heap, and the depths were congealed in the heart of the sea. To 11. The enemy said, I will pursue. I will overtake. I will divide the spoil. My lust shall be satisfied upon them. I will draw up my sword. My hand shall destroy them. Next verse. Thou didst blow with thy wind, and the sea covered them. They sank as lead in the mighty water. Who is like unto thee, O God, among the gods? Who is like unto thee? Glorious in holiness, comma, fearful in praises, doing, not delivering, doing wonders. That's what you're about to see now. Lift your hands. He said, I will pursue, I will overtake my lust my desire will fall upon the people of god i want to pray listen deliverance is not just about falling down and rolling up and down is 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 bringing the anointing of the spirit to bring a pattern a separation the bible says the river separated teeth and hither separation to allow you move i want to pray are you ready now remember that after they moved the seventh time, it was a shout, the healer. A shout, not just any shout, a shout that was sent like a word. And the Bible says the walls of Jericho fell down flat. That shout is what you are about to do. But let me issue a command in the spirit. In the name of Jesus Christ, the one whom I serve and whose I am, in the name of Jesus I declare, over every force in the spirit the covenants and the ordinances of darkness that have held the lives of god's people as they shout this shout wherever they are i command those spirits he said when they hear my voice they will run out of their hiding i command not only an exposition but a total separation are you ready to shout jesus at the count of three one two Three. In the name of Jesus, I command that fire to fall. Every power, every enchantment, every enchantment, every enchantment, every enchantment, every enchantment, every enchantment. Go now, go now, go now. Every enchantment, Kaparakato Soto Preketelekata. Every enchantment, every enchantment, be free now. Hold on. Hallelujah. I usually don't do this until I'm directed. Hallelujah. I usually see pillars of fire standing by my left and right. 
I just want to pass through. You don't have to touch me. Except it is not God that has called this meeting. If there is a force and a spirit, it must be exposed as I pass you. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. I decree and declare right now, by the anointing of the Holy Ghost, every power, every force, every power, every force, every power, every force, you must go now, now by the anointing of the Holy Ghost. In the name of Jesus, as I pass you that anointing, like fire is coming upon you to set you free. Be free now. Free now. Free now. Free now in the name of Jesus. Be free now in the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Those of you outside, lift your hands. Lift your hands. I'm going to pass here right now. The anointing of the Spirit is going to begin to come upon you. Are you ready now? Thank you, Jesus. You don't have to touch me. Just, just allow me pass. Be careful. Be careful. Father, in Jesus' name, let it be over now. There is fire now. That fire is moving all across now. Shakatos koto barikata. In the name of Jesus, ordinances be broken now. I'm seeing fire just around here where my hands are. In the name of Jesus, let there be freedom now. Let there be freedom now. Let there be freedom now. Be free now. Let it be over now. Now, now, now. In the name of Jesus Christ, be free now. In the name of Jesus, as I'm passing close to you, an anointing is causing every power let them go the spirit of the lord is telling me to stand here right now in jesus name let there be deliverance now let there be deliverance now from every force of darkness every force of every force of darkness be free now i came here because i know that there are so many of you look the crowd in this place I want to pray for you. I'm standing here, my God. Look at the oppression that I see. Just standing here. I'm about to pray right now. And from the front to the back, from the left to the right, I want all of you to shout Jesus. Something is leaving people already. Are you ready now? Your destiny must be open. Please don't take it for granted. Bring them out now at the count of three. Overflow three. One, two, three. Shake it, take it, take it. Be free now. Be free now, Shekaskopataya. In the name of Jesus, I command. My God, please help them, Jesus Christ. Look what is happening here. From the front to the back, right now, anyone here under the siege of darkness, be free now. Be free now. Help them. Pakatos seketeli katos. Be free now. Lift your hands over flow three. I'm praying for you. Are you ready to shout Jesus again? There are many of you, you try to move forward, but the force keeps holding you. As you shout Jesus now, you're going to see something leave you. Are you ready? Father, all those who have been held captive, I declare that as they shout Jesus, let your fire of deliverance come upon them. One, two, three. I release you now. I release you now. I release you now go forward i release you now delay broken i release you now i release you now i release you now i release you now in the name of jesus hallelujah listen i'm going to pray for everybody but the lord is saying there are some of you here the call of god is upon your life but there are altars fighting you i'm about to release you oh god i'm seeing 17 one seven where are they oh god right now to the back where are they they have the call of god but an altar of darkness tying down their lives Mata soto kata. be free now
Hallelujah. I'm going to pray for you. Look up, please. There are 11 of you. The Lord is saying it is you that you will use to help your family. And the anointing, that anointing of that Joseph's anointing to distinguish you is coming on 11 people. Lord, where are they? To the back. Right to the back. That anointing, a destiny is rising. No, even if you are the last born, I decree and declare, let that anointing find you now. Let that anointing find you now. The Joseph anointing, the Joseph anointing that will cause you to save your brethren. Hallelujah. Please lift your hands. Overflow three. It's not about falling down, although there are several things happening here, but I want you to just focus. The last prayer I want to pray for you, many of you will be surprised what happens to you. Listen, I'm seeing keys, like a key that was missing. Some of you were once, you were destined for certain things, and the devil veered off your life. And as it is right now, the treasure that God gave you, you have lost it. As I pray for you, that restoration anointing is coming upon you. Some of you is anointings. Some of you is business connections. Lord, where are they? At the count of three. Let that fire come. Shout Jesus at the count of three. One, two, three. Receive that grace now. Restoration, fire, fire, fire. please open your mouth and begin to pray begin to pray begin to pray great grace great grace great grace great grace new season, new season. Mama, look at me. It's over. Over. Forever. Over. 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 It's going to use you. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Please everyone pray in the spirit. 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 Please pray in the spirit. Please pray in the spirit. Pray in the spirit. Pray in the spirit. Overflow one, pray in the spirit. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Overflow one, I want to minister to you now. Listen, please, I want you to believe everything. I want to pray for you. Lift your hands, all of you. There are some of you here, as I'm looking, I'm just seeing chains. I want to pray at the count of three. I didn't come to waste your time. Right now, that chain is going to leave people now. Anyone here under the sound of my voice, and there is a chain of darkness, overflow one. I declare at the count of three right now, let that chain be broken. One, two. Three, I command that chain be broken now. Help them, please. Be broken now. To the back. Shakasko Pariata. Zato Kata. Be broken, broken. Fire is coming. I'm seeing fire moving across the crowd. In the name of Jesus Christ, I break every force, every yoke of darkness. Hallelujah. Are you pregnant? Come. I'm seeing an evil spirit. Let her go now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Let her go. By the anointing of the spirit. I release the destiny of this baby. You will not lose this baby. In the name of Jesus Christ. Help her. This lady praying in tongues. In the name of Jesus Christ. The grace. 
for dreams and visions the lord is releasing it upon you great for dreams and visions hallelujah now i'm going to walk across this crowd please i just want you to release your faith release your faith and receive something now as i walk through i'm seeing altars and they are living right now thank you jesus father let there be deliverance right now right now right now right now right now let that fire as i move oh god let the angel of your presence move let there be deliverance it is over that's what the lord says to you over now in the name of jesus christ over 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 shabas over now in the name of jesus over by the anointing of the holy ghost it is over please believe as i'm passing you don't don't worry the anointing of god will locate you over now in the name of jesus christ let it be over now now over your life let it be over i'm seeing fire moving here like this who is that fire for in jesus name i stretch my hands let there be deliverance right now supernatural deliverance right now supernatural deliverance right now mama be free now in the name of jesus christ supernatural deliverance um i'm seeing a circle here and the lord is saying restoration of ministerial anointing a circle lord where are they there are people here at least four of you i stretch my hands let the anointing locate you the call for ministry the call for ministry the call parakato sedekatoshia enter enter that level that's what i hear in the spirit enter enter that dimension enter that dimension enter that dimension enter that dimension in the name of jesus christ hallelujah who is is it victory or victoria i'm hearing a name like a victory or victoria who is that please very quickly want to pray for the sick now it's like you are wearing something like blue blue who is that person what's your name madam yes sir this is your first time here no sir you've been coming madam look at me god is going to change your story completely. amen i don't know you but yes. the lord is saying he's bringing breakthrough amen amen hold my hands look at me there is bad luck on your life my dear good things come but they never stay and the lord is saying to take it away right now be free in the name of jesus i take away that spirit from your life i set you free to move forward in the name of jesus in the name of jesus and we go in who is victoria again? all the victories of victoria be made free right now in jesus name can we go in from here Please, everyone open your mouth and begin to pray prophesy say in the name of jesus i'm breaking forth spiritually in the name of jesus christ it's a new level for me it's a new level for me enter a new dimension enter a new dimension now in the name of jesus lift your hands i'm passing here now there is an anointing move move to the next level i'm prophesying to everybody standing here within the vicinity of this anointing step into a new dimension i release that grace now i release that grace now i stretch my hands everything that has held you down let it leave you now in the name of jesus my god look at this are you seeing the legs are rotting completely in the name of jesus be free now i command be free now in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ look at me my dear go home and write it good news comes for me in 12 days lord lose their destinies i'm standing here and I'm, there is an anointing let the destiny be open now open now in the name of jesus christ i'm standing here and i'm hearing i have called you accept my call accept my call accept my call accept my call my call is upon your life my call is upon your life 
stop fighting my call is upon your life that's what the spirit of god is saying my call is upon your life accept my call my call is upon your life my mandate is upon your life my mandate is upon your life that's what god is speaking my mandate is upon your life you cannot fight it it's an ordinance decided from heaven my mandate is upon your life light me lord light me lord light me lord like a candle light me lord light me lord light me lord like a candle light me lord light me lord light me lord like a candle pastor lawrence speed come where is where is your wife to be? come come two of you i see a grace for speed lift your hands enter that dimension now i release that grace speed to your life the lord is taking away delay go and mark it you are entering a strange level i see you climbing a ladder and the lord is saying it's time for your glory it's time for your glory light me lord light me lord light me lord collect that child quickly from kenny collect that child speed that grace collect that child in the name of jesus i'm seeing that grace a new dimension of speed coming upon your life a new level of speed coming upon your life a new level of speed hallelujah mm. hey, Jimmy, i'm seeing something for you i'm seeing please stand up i'm seeing a bottle of oil and i'm seeing dollars a bottle of oil and dollars these two dimensions the spirit and supernatural resources that grace the lord is multiplying it i'm seeing a bottle a bottle of oil a bottle of oil the lord is giving you a voice not only in the area of finances but a strange demonstration of the spirit please be patient we are going to pray for the sick but tonight i i perceive god is doing something strange young man come come you and this guy two of you come stand step into a new dimension new dimension in the name of jesus you will never be the same this guy just lift your hands where you are come enter a new level in the spirit i release that grace now upon you in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ i'm looking at people and i'm seeing something rising from your stomach to your throat and the lord is saying is the spirit of prophecy lord i'm declaring right now is happening to people right now it will come upon you like a mantle prophecy 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 from your belly from your belly prophecy i command those rivers makato sakata rivers of living water rivers 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 in the name of jesus christ This lady, come, you come quickly. There is a grace, the call of God is upon your life. Enter that dimension of His grace. May the Lord give you visitations, visitations, visitations. I bring you out of the cage that I see you in. I bring you out of the cage. I bring you out of the cage. I see you inside a cage. I bring you out of the cage. In the name of Jesus, by fire, I bring you out. I bring you out. Ancestry will not fight you. I bring you out of the cage. In the name of Jesus Christ. We are soon going to pray for the sick. Where's, where's your wife? Where is she? The Lord is saying the powers will fight no more. Come. The powers will fight no more. The powers will fight no more. 
the powers will fight no more the powers will fight no more there are ordinances fighting this family i see it in the spirit the powers will fight no more in the name of jesus victory is established the powers will fight no more the powers will fight no more the powers will fight no more in the name of jesus and he's stepping to a new level of the prophetic that has always been there in the name of jesus christ Shalabarakatos. this usher lady come in the name of jesus christ you will begin to see things before they happen that's what the lord is saying i should tell you god is putting something in your eyes you will see things shata sotosha marikatos kubariakata you will see things before they happen in the name of jesus with precision with precision and with accuracy with precision with precision with precision and with accuracy where are these people that just married this lady welfare where is she now you and your wife where are they she's not around stand up let me pray for you on her behalf in the name of jesus christ i'm praying for your mother let the lord perfect her but i'm praying for you something wants to take finances off your life if i don't pray for you i see great suffering in the days coming it's like finance just dries up to the point that even your basic needs you cannot meet but i cancel it right now by the anointing of the holy spirit i cancel it right now in the name of jesus this fair lady an angel is pouring oil on your head that's what i'm seeing right now an angel is pouring oil on your head breakthrough step into a new dimension step into a new level in the name of jesus christ a new level a new level in the name of jesus christ wato where is she is she here i'm seeing a flag being raised up and the lord is saying it's a new season i'm seeing a flag being raised up in the spirit the lord is announcing you i'm declaring let that anointing come upon you a new season let that flag be raised in the name of jesus let that flag be raised you will never never be down let that flag be raised in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ we're going to pray for the sick let's just flow god you know sometimes this is this lady you come yes say for my shame say it for my shame i receive double the lord is taking me to a new level and i receive it i lay my hands upon you in the name of jesus the grace for a new level is released upon you right now i command it so i declare it so in jesus name i pray this gentleman you come confusion ends now in your life I lay my hands upon you i command confusion to end right now from your life in the name of jesus confusion ends now over your life forever in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ confusion ends over your life in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ, of jesus christ. i'm seeing I will, I will prophesy generally but i'm seeing a family having the breakthrough of a new car and an anointing I'm, 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 it may not look like it's necessary for you but i'm seeing an anointing locating that family now this is this is a, a blessing of a car you will stand and testify i don't care whether the resources are there or not i stretch my hands let that anointing make it happen in the name of jesus christ let that anointing by the spirit make it happen right now help that person please let that anointing make it happen right now in the name of jesus make it happen cameraman come i want to pray for you look at me it will surprise you the kind of favor you will start walking in amen you believe what i'm saying lift your hands father let this brother drink of the grace for favor a fresh dimension a fresh dimension a fresh dimension 
of favor in the name of Jesus Christ this lady you come the Lord is saying I'm rolling away reproach from your life everything that looks like reproach I lay my hands upon you I'm literally feeling like there are holes on your head and the anointing is going through I command reproach go and never return from her life in the name of Jesus Christ now we're going to pray for the sick please we're going to be very fast we're going to be very fast listen to me if you have any cancer related issue or barrenness whether you are in overflow one two or three i will want to pray for you by myself otherwise overflow one um, i'm in the main auditorium i want you to come out over all the overflows just come to the front stand up stand up come to the front of your projector stands quickly please come to the front of your projector stands for god's sake not to embarrass you but look at this woman's leg look at this look at this doctor look at this is this sickness look at how the whole leg is rotting already please quickly you're sick in your body come quickly stand if the people cannot move just keep them where they are or bring them close so that you don't um are we together now we're going to pray it will be very fast because our time is gone we want to finish on time the devil is a wicked person for these kinds of oppression are we together there are so many people in overflow tree and uh god will grant grace pastor lawrence come you will join them today when our backs were against the wall and it looked as if it was over you made way. hallelujah father in the name of jesus by the corporate anointing we pray these people have come expecting to be healed expecting to be touched i pray that your anointing will visit them right now in the name of jesus overflow one overflow two overflow three let there be a release of the corporate grace right now in the name of jesus christ we're free now in the name of jesus christ what's wrong with you my dear huh fracture where how long where is the leg it can't move and your hand don't worry it's okay and your legs lord jesus please walk help this lady miracle, jesus. in the name of jesus walk my miracle here i today. release that anointing upon you right walk now my miracle, i correct your jesus. body now hallelujah praise the lord hallelujah please stretch your hands here and begin to pray in the spirit if they are still praying for you outside just just continue please if your request is yet to come here you can quickly wave it wave it and let the ushers have it and bring it here quickly stretch your hands stretch your hands by faith believing that god will visit you don't don't stretch your hands out of unbelief if there are requests here to come please let them come here quickly please bring them quickly shabakato soprakato baladabash unto you that answers prayers oh god shall all flesh come Rakato sodo brende ge barakato shabra diski labaria. Enda kato sata prakato jalabaria kato brende ge degodos. Please pray. You are praying in the spirit. You are connecting. Lord, we are believing that we will not have to write this again. Be serious about it. Make sure you are connected by faith. Shakato kaparakato barikata sipriada balarabash. Shakata parakata paroto subrias. Lord, arise in majesty arise in your power visit the case of people change impossible situations in the name of jesus christ lord let this be the last time they will write this in the name of jesus christ let this be the last time they will write this 
in the name of Jesus let this be the last time shabakata pakata 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 and take it to rakato shada pragada baladaba lord we believe in you arise oh god of heaven arise oh god of heaven arise oh god of heaven visit your people arise oh god of heaven visit your people shabakata parada baroto soto predegate legata kato prandegate presha da belede bosh hallelujah 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 please respond with a resounding amen in the name of jesus amen. father this is not a ritual i stand on behalf of your people lord these requests represent different dimensions of demonic jerichos standing between them and the place of destiny father as I step upon this, let this be symbolic of the ark going round Jericho. Yeah. Hallelujah. Listen. You're going to shout Jesus. We're going to shout Jesus seven times. Are we together? As a prophetic act over this. I'm going to guide you and you will shout it. For every one shout, let it represent one day going round Jericho. That at the seventh time we are agreeing together that no matter what the issue is if you don't believe you will never never see the salvation of god but for believers you'll be surprised father that you hearken to this prophetic act i know god i stand leading your people as we shout that name the name of our high priest who has been exalted above the ironic priesthood above any kind of priesthood are you ready now I'll call the number and you shout Jesus. Are you ready? Number one. Number two. Number three. Number four. Number five. Crumbling every mountain. Number three. Shabakoto Sopataya. Makrotoba, I tell you, I feel the fire of God as we're shouting this Jesus. Number four. Jesus. Number five. Jesus. Number six. Jesus. I put an anointing on this seven shout. Let this be the shout that crumbles every mountain in the name of jesus number seven jesus. That when you carry God will not allow you marry from certain places it's not whether it is good or bad ah, this is what your prophets used to do they will look and tell you no I don't know why the person is not wrong but this combination is wrong now it is not on all cases there are people because of the prophecy on their life don't get me wrong I hope you understand what I'm saying it is true it does not happen in all cases but believe me there are certain graces there are times that God will connect you to a man and a woman and you look physically and there's no reason why you should be married and God says just do what I'm asking you to do I am joining altars more than men and two of you will bring a hybrid combination the children that will come out from that altar will introduce a new anointing to the body do you remember in scripture when this guy was laboring to pay dowry on his wife a ghost suddenly appears her stomach starts protruding say no i've gone through a lot of trouble with you madam my name is joseph you can go and look for whoever got you pregnant i'm tired your stomach is protruding 
Who did you sleep with? And nobody. A, a, a spirit came to me and told me I'm highly favored. What is why didn't the spirit appear to say, okay, be patient as a husband. Just let me just use your wife to give birth to me, the Messiah. And hear me. While all that discussion was happening, Joseph wanted to, is in your Bible, to leave her. And an angel appeared and said, Mr. Man, don't, you don't know what you are doing. There is a mystery. Just be patient. Let them give birth to Jesus. You can have your children. But be that father. You are about to be introduced into a history that you do not know. what I'm sharing and so there are times that you have every reason every reason in fact there are some graces when you carry you cannot relocate to certain regions the graces and the nature of the operation of that graces require you are domiciled within certain regions so we will carry those graces God will he will not tell you this is why because God knows we are stubborn so he will look for an attractive excuse to take you to that place do you realize that one time Jesus wanted to pray for a blind person he took him out of one city into another before praying for him Jesus I'm at liberty to share these things because this is a prophetic church your man of God is a prophet. You understand? I will not share this thing in every cycle because sometimes people will think we are just talking a lot of nonsense. But believe me, if you call what I'm saying nonsense, I wish you good luck. In this wicked world, this cruel world that ignorance is, you pay with your lifetime. This is the mystery behind the results of people. Now, nobody will be honest enough to open up like this and tell you that behind the results you see there are mysteries you just see people rising and here's what we say you are lucky i'm demystifying that mystery called luck that there are altars there are support systems that lift people that's why they don't share what people do because they know what is backing them hallelujah open eyes that you can see open eyes for your finances open eyes for everything around your life i want you to be tired of the realm you are now i want you to be tired of struggling tired of having to meet people to lobby your way in and out. no 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 there are superior systems hallelujah this is one of my dear people he's a military officer one time they sent him to Maiduguri where they were fighting with Boko Haram. And they almost killed this my dear son for me. I said, Lord, I thank you for the military people who are fighting. But please, I ask you, take this my son out of that place. We still need him for a long time. And that's why they carried him. I think he's in Lagos now. So. And he still comes to serve in the media every time. This is a military man. Because even though even though he is fighting he knows the altar and the grace that supports him listen believers let's be wise the days are evil the days are evil let us sustain spiritual intelligence no music artist in nigeria rises sustainably without being connected to a solid altar it is true Otherwise, a day will come, songs will not come again. A territory will squeeze you like an orange for over six months, inviting you every day to every meeting. After six or seven months, they will spit you out, and that's the end of your career. But there are people who remain ever fresh. The secret, I tell you, you look at them, it's not necessarily their skill or prowess alone. They are tied to something that is ancient. You don't find the root on earth. You only find the body. The root is in the realm of the spirit. It does not die. Is God speaking to us? 
We are going to pray. I know that our time is gone. But we will pray. Before I begin to minister. Ah, this morning God will surprise you all. That, that you left your house and came here. No, no, no. He never calls the seed of Jacob to seek him in vain. And let me tell you this. Let me tell you this. If the next few minutes you open your heart, you will be surprised what God will do in your life. Men are made in the night, not in the day. The day is for manifestation. The night is for making. According to God's protocol, is the evening and the morning. The morning does not start a day. If your day starts in the morning, it's already too late. Both conception and delivery happens in the morning. In the night. Listen, while you are seated, I like you to be. I'm provoking you. Be tired of where you are. And say, Lord, I thank you. You have blessed me, but this is not it. This is not it for my children. This is not it for my destiny. I thought things would change in 2016. I thought things would change in 2017. But Lord, this year of open doors, maybe someone should jump up on his feet and begin to walk around this auditorium prophetically. Walk around this auditorium. It's time for me to move in the name of Jesus Christ. Please wear the instrumental. It's just help. Someone is walking around and prophesying. Don't just walk around looking. Please prophesy. I refuse to be in the same position. I refuse to be in the same position. By the power of the Holy Ghost. Shalika baranda salatasiaka brakataka tabarakato sadevalakas. Someone is praying in the name of Jesus. Shekete kaparakata. Shekete leke parato sosiata. Embrata satalikata. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Please do me a favor if you can. If there is no space, that's all right. But please pair yourselves into three. We are going to pray. The Bible says a threefold cord. We want to invoke mysteries in this place and pray. Please pair yourselves into three. If there is no space, just do two, two. Pair yourselves into three. Let's pray so that things will shift and change in our lives. Listen. In the next five to ten minutes, you are going to hold the hands of these people while you pray. This is going to be the prayer. Lord, every grace and covenant that is hidden on the person that I'm holding, I draw that grace through honor. Lift your voice and pray someone. You may be holding your brother, but pray. Parakato shalakata. Outside, are you praying? Shkaparakata. Embre kete kete ke parakato. Lakata prakata sikete. Rebo shamata pa parakato. Lakata pa parakata. Embre kete ke paruto shodoka. I draw you to my spirit. Covenant of living. I draw you to my spirit. Bless you to make place. I draw you to my spirit. Sacrifice. That open Let's 
name of Jesus. Please change and hold another person's hand. Change and hold somebody's hand. Don't, don't we lay the man of God, please. Make sure. Are you ready? You are still going to pray the same prayer. Please, these are prophetic instructions. I tell you, you are not wasting your time. Believe me. A threefold cord that cannot be easily broken. You are going to lift your voice again. Lord, what have you planted in this man? What have you planted in this woman? What altar of the spirit sponsors their possibility? I draw it to honor. Lift your voice. <laughs> the door of my destiny in the name of Jesus be open let me see lift your voice and begin to pray lift your voice and pray be open see opportunity be open be open be open see relationship be open in the name of Jesus be open in the name of Jesus
the last prayer point then we'll begin to minister the head of a man is the symbol of your glory it is true but my horn shall thou exalt like the horn of a unicorn and I shall be anointed with fresh oil please listen to me it is true that what is on your head determines what is on your cup you are going to lay your hands on your head and cast away every negative atmosphere and every programming whether it is of ancestry whether it is of bloodline have been called out of every tribe and every tongue and every nation and I decree and declare may my head be lifted up he said listen to me he says thou O Lord art a shield for me Psalm 3 my glory he says the lifter up of my head you are going to prophesy my head my destiny rise up rise up from the ashes rise up from the grave someone is praying someone is praying Rise from the ashes of the hypocrisy. Rise from the ashes of failure. Rise from the ashes of limitation. out of the grave he said roll away the stone when it was time for Jesus to come out of the grave the angel came and rolled away the stone you are going to roll away every stone listen there are people the truth is you are standing physically but spiritually there is a door that has closed your destiny you are going to pray listen pray like a prophet pray like a priest that in the name of Jesus that every stone that covers my glory, my family, our name, our relevance, we roll you away by the Spirit of God. It's time for Lazarus to go for Someone is praying. Pray for your family. Pray for your relatives. Roll away the stone. Roll away the stone of limitation. Roll away the stone of introversion. Roll away the stone that shuts your relevance, that shuts your voice. <laughs> Roll away that stone of shame, of reproach. Roll away that stone of limitation. It's time for me to come out. It's time for my destiny to be announced. It's my season of appearing. Roll away that stone. Roll away the stone. 
tell you things are shifting in this place yes yes can I give you one more prayer point father everything tying me down he said lose that man and let him go the stone can be rolled away but your past is still holding you the stone can be rolled away but yesterday is still holding you refusing that you will not enter tomorrow everything in my yesterday that is refusing me from entering tomorrow whether it is your past whether it is your failures let me go I cut away from you lift your voice and pray outside those following online from whatever nation you can write and send your request please do it very quickly we're about to pray everything you are tired of seeing that must let you go please write it down nobody's reading it right here it will be prayed for and then it will be burnt away so you don't have to be afraid that people will read your request you don't have to write your name you just write what it is Some of you may need to call your loved ones and say, what, what are we tired of in this family? That must go. I'm convinced that a vigil without prayer is a waste of time. A vigil that you did not pray prophetically and strategically is a total waste of time. The ministry of prayer and the ministry of the word remains the principal tools for healing for deliverance for breakthrough this is a very deep and profound mystery what we are doing and is biblical once upon a time three kings came together to threaten the people of god and they submitted the request on the altar go ahead write your requests 
the Bible says be anxious for nothing he says he says but in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving he says make your request known don't assume it is known make your request known please write it down and in case your faith did not allow you to write some things write it again now because sometimes we can be used to pain and long-standing issues that we're even afraid to write them because we say can God make a way in the wilderness we are here for you come and do we are here for you. Come and do what you do. Set our hearts on you. Come and do what you do. This is the home. Hallelujah. Now, if you've written it, please ushers ushers will go around you're just going to pass it they'll bring it before the altar here you can pass it to the last person maybe the person on the aisle can we do it that way maybe to make it easy or ushers just go around maybe just find a way of organizing yourself please make sure everyone's request is here just you can just submit it we are here for you come and do we are here for you Come and do what you do Set our hearts, Set our hearts. Submit it to the ushers moving round. There are ushers moving. I don't know if there are ushers up there. If they are here to collect yours, you can just wave yours and somebody will. Please, there are people waving there. Let's, let's have their hands. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, my life is changing in the name of Jesus. I will never be the same I've touched your grace My life is changed I will never be the same I've touched your grace My life is changed I will never be the same I've touched your grace My life is changed I will never be the same I've touched your grace my life is changed 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 
you've touched His grace, your life is changed. You will never be the same. You've touched His grace, your life is changed. You will never be the same. You've touched His grace, your life is changed. Hallelujah. Now, while you are dropping this, I'd like you to begin to pray where you are seated and declare that, Lord, these Egyptians that I see today, I will see them no more forever. Somebody is praying. Don't let the devil tell you you are wasting your time. These Egyptians that I see today, I see them no more forever. Do we have all the requests? Shalanda baska barusa siyata Pastor Amos Fairwan. Just just with here. You pack it back. So let's... someone's life is about to change. A new season is about to open for someone. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Please make sure we have everything here. Unto him that answers prayer shall all flesh come. Someone help mama. She's trying to come with her request. Please, somebody collect it. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Amen. I will not trouble our father, but I will just stand praying so that his, his, his grace is here speaking. But while you are there, please stretch your hands here with faith believing. And I want you to begin to blast in tongues while you are standing. I'm going to go on my knees and cry to the God of heaven. Will you open up the gate? Open up the door. Will you open up the gate? Open up the door. Please stretch your hands and pray. Oh, no. 
the power of God will come on those people. Some of you, it's not just your hands that are tied, it's even the hands of your family. God will touch you for your family. And two, right now, at the count of three, one, two, three, may that grace break those chains right now. Break those chains. Oh my God, my God, my God. Break them out. Break those chains. God is bringing deliverance. Help that woman, please. There is power in the name of Jesus. There is power in the name of Jesus. There is power in the name of Jesus. Break it to break every Now, please hear me. I'm still praying. The Lord wants to break people free from covenants and yokes of darkness. At the count of three, you are going to shout that name, Jesus. There is a strong fire from this altar that will fall upon your life. Are you ready now? Please bring those people. In the name of Jesus, anyone's destiny here that has been tied by the orchestrations of witchcraft, I come by the rod of a higher priesthood. In the name of Jesus, at the count of three, as you shout, may that yoke be broken. You will shout Jesus at the count of three. One, two, three. about to change completely what i see god doing will surprise you man can i pray for you who is jonathan jonathan i'm hearing a name jonathan jonathan you are wearing a white like a white cloth jonathan who is that is there somebody like that break every chain break every chain Break every chain. What's your name? Please verify that they are not just coming out. Please. Don't just. Your name is Jonathan. Sir, your name is Jonathan. It's alright. I will pray with you. Whose mother is in the teaching hospital? There's someone, your, your, your mother also is in the teaching hospital. Sick. I don't know who that person is, but please come. I want to pray. Can you find that person? I want to pray for you. In the name of Jesus, I want to pray for you. I want to pray for you. Kemi, who is that? K-E-M-I. Kemi. That's, that's somebody's name. Please, who is that? Quickly. Ma, I want to pray for you. In the name of Jesus, the Son of the living God. I truly see a very serious breakthrough. Why are they coming? Look at what is happening to this woman. Look at this. Look at this. Look what is happening to this woman. 
I'm seeing something being loose from her. Leave her now. Look at look at a miracle happening right in your presence. My God. My dear, look at me. Shout Jesus. This girl. Tap her. Shout Jesus as loud as you can. Out of her now. In the name of Jesus. My dear, look at me. Lift your hands. I declare that the reproach on your life and your family, let it come to an end now by the power of the Holy Ghost. I'm going to pray for you. In the name of Jesus, I command that you go out of her life now. In the name of Jesus, out of her life. See, let me tell you. Please don't think we are wasting our time here. God is rearranging destinies. My dear, the Lord is saying I should prophesy to you. Remember not the former things. This, this young lady nor consider the things of old come the lord is asking me to lay my hands on you that things will turn around in your life in a way that will surprise you in the name of jesus let this happen even by the spirit an end comes to oppression in your life in the name of jesus christ susan 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 i'm hearing the name susan who is susan you are susan Mama, you are Susan. From where? From where are you? Is, I'm please help us. Is this mic working? Huh? I'm married to a kitty, but I'm from Delta. I want to pray for you. Can I rebuke the spirit of death over your family? The power of God is going to come on someone now. The Lord is averting death from your family. It's, listen, no, no, no. It's a specific person. I want to bring the person out right now. A strong anointing is going to fall on someone. Please bring the person. That spirit of death. I just saw like a dark shadow. In the name of Jesus, the son of the living God, I decree and declare that everyone and every family are pointed unto death by the spirit of the living God. It is averted now. When the power of God comes on that person, please pick the person and bring them out. The anointing of the Spirit. That man near the door, that man wearing red, tell him to lift his hands. That gentleman standing near the door. Tap him and tell him to lift his hand. No. The one wearing red. Tell him to lift his hands. In the name of Jesus, I command the spirit of death out of his life and out of his family. Now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Mama, let me pray for you. In the name of Jesus, I stretch my hands to you. And I pray. The grave is a spirit. It can call people. You can hear it like someone is calling you. But it is the grave. I command in the name of Jesus. May your ears be shot towards the voice of the grave. In the name of Jesus. For you and for your children. And I declare you are free now. And you are free forever. Please don't be embarrassed. There is The Lord is showing me a woman here. I know that generally there will be a lot of people, but there is a woman here. This is up to four, five, six, like six years. You are trusting God for the fruit of the womb. Who is that person? I'm, I'm saying up to one, two, three, four, five, six. Please come. Your time has come. Who is that? Haribiti, Arabata, 
I hope you are all married. Praise God. We have to be careful in the house of God over the things we pray for. Praise the Lord. Where is your husband? Oh. Please help us with the mic. Media, can, can you help us so that the mic works? My husband is at home. Where? Where is home? Maryland. Maryland, yes. you're in Lagos here. Yes. Do you believe that if we pray for you, yes. you will have a child? Yes. You will come and stand in this altar yes. and testify. Yes. Kai, the wonder working power of God is a marvel. The power of God is going to come on one of you. One of you here, right now. Now, out of her. Barrenness is a spirit it can hear. Out now. Release their destiny. Release their fruitfulness. It's over. Go and return with your children. In the name of Jesus Christ. I speak to you and I prophesy according to the time of life. I don't care what the situation is. In the name of Jesus Christ. I speak to you by the power that raised Christ from the dead. Standing on this altar of Pastor Amos Fenwa as the prophet of God. I decree and declare you will return with your child. In the name of Jesus. My dear, is your husband here? Because the Lord is telling me he's here. Where is he? Please help us. Are the mics working? Call him. Where is he? Husband. Where? Let's save time. Our time is... is... Do you... Call his name so that he will hurry up. Shola Fawe. Shola, are you here, sir? No. Okay, someone has gone to call him. There is a reason why I'm asking him to come. I hope you're not embarrassed. A few minutes and, and we'll be done. What's your name? Susan, I want to pray for you. Where are you from? What do you have to do with Anambra State? My father is from there. Your father is from Anambra State. I want to pray for you. That every altar that stands to destroy your destiny, in the name of Jesus, I curse that altar now. Out! Now! <laughs> Sir, how long have you been trusting God for the foot of the womb? Huh? Yes. About six years. Do you believe the end has come? Yeah. Hold my hands. My friend, look at me. You believe in miracles? Huh? Yes, sir. Shout Jesus as loud as you can. Jesus! In the name of Jesus, it's over. I needed to pray for him first. Now, I see what is happening. I prayed for him and the miracle happened to the wife. You see, the eyes to see, you must trust God for grace. That simple instruction. Look at this. This is to tell you that when people marry, two really become one. Because I wanted to pray for her and the Lord said, no, this is the man you will pray for. And then this will, please go, you will return with your testimony. I can't even remember why you are, Kemi, all of you, why are you here? You know, sometimes this thing, okay. Do you do business? Huh? What do you do? I sell clothes and I run a training outfit. Ah! Madam, this is your year. You are going to make a lot of money. Amen. Is it your mother? <laughs> I spoke about business and you ran out. Ah, you do business too. What do you do? Huh? Kitchen utensils. Kitchen? Kitchen utensils? Ah, okay. I will pray with you to help. But... Madam, can I pray with you? Don't forget God oh, as he lifts you because what I see happening to you, it will surprise you. June, July, August, there are strange months of breakthrough for you. I release that grace upon you right now. In the name of Jesus, it's over. 
in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ these are your children come who is this one this fella my first one your first one where is she pray for how huh? I will speak in parables the Bible says the rod of the wicked shall not rest upon the lot of the righteous lest they dip their hands in iniquity please pray for her I am convinced that if you are born again and your association is not born again you are not born again I'm sorry but this is how you have to be born again enough to affect your association praise the lord so we have to be very careful so that sometimes we don't get ourselves mixed up into a lot of this nonsense that destroy god's people oh madam i pray for you may doors be open for you now in the name of jesus and for all of you here who are standing i want to pray for you august is your month of wedding who is that august come because i'm seeing something that can will create serious trouble i must pray for you. i'm not saying if you want to marry august to please understand what i'm saying what i'm seeing too many people no i'm not saying if you want to marry what are you married huh august no i'm talking I'm sorry, maybe I didn't communicate it well. I meant you have fixed your wedding date and it is for August. Because some of the people I'm seeing here, you should not be. Is there someone like that? This is what I'm seeing. Please, if there's someone like that, I want to pray for that person now. You? Your wedding? When? August. It's been fixed. Is your pastor aware? Oh, you just agreed. Ah. I respect protocol oh, so that I don't come and bless. Make sure you meet. I will pray for you, eh, but this is this is the the, 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 the relevant committee who work on it. What, what's, what's happened to Mama? By August. That's right. They are getting married. Yeah. This is the wife and this is the wife, this is the husband. Which one is your child, Mama? Uh, my son, I mean, the boy. Okay. In the name of Jesus, we pray. There will be no accident. Yes, Mama, what happened to you? What happened to you? I swear, I swear, I went to Beria 2018. You are a member of this church, Mama? My son is a member. I okay, okay. Member you went for church. burial. Mm, and from after that, your leg just paralyzed. I fall sick seriously. I'm the one that come out just now. Come and give the same money that I nearly died. Said. Okay, she shared the testimony. Since you are already out, let me pray for you, Mama. No, don't worry. I will just pray for you. Eh? Father, in the name of Jesus, I pray for Mama. Let the power of God heal you from this arthritis in the name of Jesus Christ. Let the anointing of the Holy Ghost completely set you free in the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Now I pray for every one of you. For whatever reason, in the name of Jesus, I decree and declare you will return with strange testimonies. My sister, look at me. This lady, lift your hands. I'm looking at you in the realm of the spirit and I'm not seeing a face. Stand up. I'm seeing a body but I'm not seeing a face. I must rebuke bad luck from your life. Can I pray for you? I hope you're not embarrassed. Hold my hands. Where are you coming from? In the name of Jesus, let this be over in your life. Now, in Jesus' name. This fair lady, you, that come. It's time for God to turn your family around. Please come. I bless all of you in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus Christ. Everything that is not of God, let it give way. God bless you. Please, you can return back to your seat. I prayed for you. 
Have I prayed for you, man? In Jesus' name, I release you by the power of the Holy Spirit. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. I want to pray for you. Where are you coming from, my dear? Huh? Jonathan. Where are you from, sir? In the name of Jesus, I release you and I open up doors for you. In the name of Jesus, I open up doors for you by the power of the Holy Spirit. In the name. Where are you from, my dear? I'm coming from the community. In the name of Jesus, may the Lord restore the blessings of your family. Everything that represents shame and reproach, I come against it now. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Can I pray for the sick? My God, our time is already gone. Let me use a few minutes to pray for the sick. If you are trusting God for healing any part of your body, um, you don't have to come out. Just, we may not have all that time. Where you are, just where you are. Don't worry. Right where you are, just lay your hands there. There are so many people trusting God, so we may not. She's already out. I'll pray with you, but in the name of Jesus Christ. By the power of the Holy Ghost. God bless you. Now, I want to pray for the sick, please. Believe in miracles. I want to, to lay your hands where you are trusting God for. If it's a part of your body you cannot touch, just touch your chest. And I will pray for you right now. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. You are the King. There is none other. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. You are the King. There is none other. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. In the name of Jesus Christ. Please say Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Right now, I decree and declare. By the power that raised Christ from the dead. That every spirit responsible for every kind of infirmity in your body. I cast that spirit out in the name of Jesus. Right now I decree and declare in the name of Jesus. Be healed right now. Receive your healing right now. Receive your healing right now. Receive your healing right now. From the crown of your head, even to the soles of your feet, be healed now. Be healed now. Every lump in the breast area or any part of your body, I command it to disappear now. The power of God is touching people. Migraine headache, be healed now. Peptic ulcer, be healed now. Heart palpitations, be healed now. Every challenge with your bones, in the name of Jesus, I correct it now. Pile, no matter how long, be healed now in the name of Jesus. There's someone you have severe pain around your molars, your teeth. In the name of Jesus, the power of God is touching that person right now. Touching that person right now. We're going to take a few testimonies here. In the name of Jesus Christ. There's someone you have excruciating stomach pain. You've not been able to figure what the problem is. Month after month, excruciating pain. Right now, you're going to feel just like fire, a warm sensation, and that's the end of it. I declare, be healed now. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. There's someone, I think because of your blood group, you have um, 
a lot of pains. Help them. The power of God is coming on that person right now. Around your joints, severe pains. In the name of Jesus, right now, the power of God is touching you. Every problem with your eye, in the name of Jesus, the Son of the living God, I decree and declare, be healed now. Any challenge with your ears, in the name of Jesus, I declare unto you, be healed now. By the power of the Holy Ghost, be healed now. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, I'm seeing someone who eats and throws up what you are eating. You are not exactly sick like your body, but you eat and you just feel this irritation and then you throw it up. In the name of Jesus, I declare to you, be healed now. Completely set free. Completely set free. It looks like hyenae around your groin area, but it brings severe pain and it has refused to go. I don't know who that is, but in the name of Jesus, I'm declaring to you, be healed right now. There's someone just, just around the area where you feel pain for appendicitis. You've been feeling that pain. This is up to two years now. I'm praying for you by the power of the Holy Spirit. Be healed now. Supernatural healing. In the name of Jesus. Supernatural healing. Um, my God. You had a dream. And it's like a dream or something from what I'm seeing. And someone told you that they will put cancer on you. In the name of Jesus. I don't know who that is. I hope you know that these things... You see, most of these challenges are demonic in origin. They really truly are. I'm praying for you right now. Bring the lady that shouts under the anointing. The power of God is coming on a lady now. I'm seeing a lady, not a man. It's a very loud shout. Please bring that person. I just want to prophesy over that person and rebuke this thing that I'm seeing. There is something in your stomach that God wants to remove out. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. This is an instruction God is giving me, so please just be patient with me. As that anointing comes upon that person, please bring the person here right now. I want to pray. No, that's not the person. The power of God is going to come upon the person. I will still pray, but that's not the person. This one I'm seeing in the realm of the Spirit. I was praying and the Holy Spirit just interrupted me. It's a very strong anointing. And it's just coming on someone right now. You see, when you are spiritual... You have to be sensitive to the Holy Spirit. We are here responding to what He wants, not what we want. And if you are not sensitive, you can miss out on prophetic things for people's lives. Praise the Lord. I don't know why He does these things sometimes, but we just are patient. Please, just be sensitive. The power of God will come on that person. Bring her. Oh, yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Jesus, I decree and declare they will not tell you you have blood tubes in the name of Jesus. I reject that evil report and I declare that everything that is not of the Christ in your life and in your body let it go now. In the name of Jesus. Let it go now. In the name of Jesus. And now I pray for every other person whether I've mentioned your case or not. I'm seeing a thermometer. This is high blood pressure. In the name of Jesus, be free now. In the name of Jesus, be free now. By the power of the Holy Spirit, I decree and declare in the name of Jesus that everything that is not of God, 
planted in your body i command it to come out now in the name of jesus i command it to come out now let me wrap up by speaking over your life now listen very carefully ezra chapter 6 and verse 14 please give it to us ezra chapter 6 and verse 14 Please, let's read it together. And the elders of the Jews built it, and they prospered through the prophesying of Haggai the prophet and Zechariah the son of Edo. And they built it and finished it according to the commandment. Hallelujah. Now, listen, I want to speak to you because the Bible lets us know that we are built up like living stones. And I want to speak over your life. They prospered through the prophesying. They prospered through the prophesying. Prophecy is powerful. And by a prophet, the Lord God brought Israel out of Egypt. And by a prophet, they were preserved. The prophetic ministry has largely been abused. The prophetic ministry has been maybe tampered with the level of character and intelligence and balance may not have been quite there but it does not mean the prophetic ministry is not valid it is a ministry that is valid for all generations praise the lord can i speak over your life prophecy does not only reveal it creates it can make what has no business happening to happen in the name of jesus the son of the living god every closed door holy ghost christian center i pray for you that every door that has been closed towards you, your business and your family, I speak to that door. Be open now in the name of Jesus. Be open now in the name of Jesus. Be open now in the name of Jesus. I speak to every branch of this ministry scattered across the globe. In the name of Jesus, the Son of the living God, and all the ministries connected to this grace whatever has shut the door towards your influence your impact i decree and declare those doors are open now i pray first over your spiritual life whatever has closed the door to hunger genuine passion for the things of god whatever has eroded your prayer life whatever has dampened your word study life so that you no longer have the hunger and the passion for the things of God. In the name of Jesus tonight, may that door of desperation and hunger towards the things of God be open. Listen, please hear me. When a man is not serious with God, that destiny is in trouble. I don't care what you have I don't care what you have. I don't care what you are. If your hunger, hunger is proof of health. When people are sick, the first thing that happens is they lose appetite. I always continue to check my life. I will cancel any meeting and cancel anything at all to restore my hunger for God. My hunger for God and my passion for Him is greater than anything. Influence, name, whatever it is. Again, let me pray for you. Because you see, these are our lives. As we are busy, the vicissitudes of life, they have a way of stealing away little by little. Our hunger, you forget to pray, you forget to fast, you forget to study. You say, no problem, I will come back again. No, the heritage that we have received come from people whose hunger was sustained in the name of jesus the grace for genuine passion towards the things of god may that grace rest on your life i pray fresh fire upon your altar in the name of jesus number two i pray for you everything that closes your mind so that you are not unfruitful unto the things of righteousness that 
it stops you from accessing the truth and the riches of scripture in the name of jesus i open your understanding in the name of jesus i open your understanding spiritual illumination by the power of the holy ghost number three please stretch your hands towards me your hand is a symbol of your productivity i pray in the name of jesus the grace that makes what is on your hand multiply i release that grace upon you holy ghost christian center i prophesy that your five loaf and two fish i command it to feed five thousand in the name of jesus christ nothing dies in your hand in the name of jesus christ let's put it down i pray for you the bible says everywhere the sole of your feet shall tread upon it is given unto you i bless your feet may it go to good places i bless your feet i take it away from trouble I dearly beloved i hope you were blessed by this message I want you to keep doing something for this man of God, our man of God, Apostle Joshua Salman. And that is, I want you to keep on praying for him, that the cause of the gospel may have free flow in him, that he may be granted boldness to continue with his commission of Jesus Christ, and that all provisions be given unto him as he continues in this journey of Christianity. And then, don't forget to like this video don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you are new here don't also forget to leave a comment in the comment section and then keep sharing keep sharing abroad and let's all keep sharing jesus i'll see you again bye